Surprise! Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and today is a double whammy. Yes, New Music Monday. Whoop, 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 whoop. Boop, boop. But it's a double whammy because you guys have already seen me react to Russia this morning at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. And if you miss me reacting to Russia's entrance, click the little link up here and you'll be taken straight there. I wouldn't want you missing out. But in this video right here, right now, we're going to be looking at Kazakhstan's entry for the 2020 Junior Eurovision Song Contest. I am super, super, super pumped because last year, Kazakhstan's entry, which came second, may I just say, was my absolute favourite. I think it was completely robbed. I thought it was magic. The instrumentation was just magical. It was something from a Disney feel. It had a whole epic feel about it. And I just feel that it perfectly encapsulated what kids should be singing about. For me, last year, Kazakhstan were perfection. And a lot of people last year were saying it's very cliche and very safe. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good song. It was elegant, it was sung so maturely, and overall it just had a great vibe about it. So I am so excited to have a little look at their entrant this year, which is from Karakat Bashanova. And her song is called Forever. Now this won the national selection for the Junior Eurovision Song Contest in Kazakhstan. So it saw her see off a lot of competition. So let's see if this song lives up to my expectations and can match or be better than what I thought of Kazakhstan last year. So you know the saying around here folks, enough chat, let's react. Now I've done a little bit of research about this song and apparently it was written about her father who passed away five years ago. So kudos and props to Kara Catford for picking such a tough and emotional theme to sing about. My heart's kind of racing at the moment just thinking about it. This is going to be really emotional. So get those tissues ready, let's go. The intro is eerie already. Already the lyrics are captivating. That soul in her voice. Oh, stop it. The emotion in her voice. The vocal breaks, the little cracks. She's singing so softly, it's so soulful. I can't. There's so much pain in her voice. The little crack. I've got chills. This is giving me chills. The little vocal run as well, it just seeps out emotion. Oh, and the strings. Oh my God. Oh my God. How she can hold it back for that, that like musical break and then just bang it out again is... Wow. vocal cracks and breaks and then she brings it all back in again at the end and doing really soft the light and shade in her voice is there wow that was so powerful i can't believe just how strong and powerful that was for a young girl as well to sing thematically and aesthetically a song about a father that passed away that is so strong and that really touched a nerve I'm so sorry, I didn't really comment a lot on the song because the emotion was so overpowering and so overwhelming. She meant every single word she was singing. It was so strong. Her voice just is so impactful as well. How she started really soft and then she brought out those emotional belts and then she drew it right back in at the end and it just really made the song go full circle. I just want to pass on a message to Karakat and say, well done to you. That was such a strong, a powerful, an emotional power ballad. And you channeled all of that energy and all of the heartache into that track and that performance. And it really did show. Well done to you. Don't, I don't think I could do that. That was so, oh, that was commendable. 
The melody of the song was really nice. The instrumentation was really impactful. The strings really got me and coincided really well with the lyrics and the emotion in her voice. If she doesn't do very well at Junior Eurovision, she has won. It doesn't matter, she has won. She's won the hearts of her nation. She's won over a whole new audience with that song. Getting her emotions out there and really telling her story must be such a cathartic experience for her. And kind of like therapy in a way. So well done. I think this fits in perfectly with the other songs that we've heard this year so far because we're really starting to get a collective mixture of sounds. <sighs> Anyway guys, that's just what I think. What did you think of this track? Please leave all of your thoughts and your comments down below in the comments section. I want to see if you like this song. I want to see if you connected to this song emotionally or if you thought it was a bit too emotional for you. Let me know everything down below. Let me know where this place is in your top so far. But as always guys, if you're enjoying New Music Monday and you're liking the Junior Eurovision content, don't you forget to give this video a great big thumbs up so I can be sure to make more for you. And before you guys go anywhere, don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you'll keep up to date with all of the videos on this channel and all of the series on this channel too. Anyway, that's all from me. All that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.